A guilty plea today by Elsa Oliver. She's the mother of a five-year-old Fitchburg boy found dead in 2014 after going missing. But today in court, the crimes that Oliver admitted to were not related to her son's death. Good afternoon. I'm Chris McKinnon. And I'm Anna Redis Rodriguez in for Kate. Now, we know that prosecutors at this point are not pursuing any charges in connection to the death of Jeremiah Oliver. WBZ's Anna Myler has been in the courtroom in Worcester and has the latest developments from there. Anna? And it is just weeks before Elsa Oliver was scheduled to go on trial. She pleaded guilty to abusing and endangering two of her children, but the charges related to Jeremiah have been dropped. Number seven, reckless endangerment of a child. Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Elsa Oliver pleaded guilty in Worcester Superior Court today, taking responsibility for the abuse and endangerment of two of her children. Elsa Oliver required the children to remain in a cold shower or kneel for extended periods of time. And she also pled guilty here um, because she did not want to put um, her children through um, any type of trial. Oliver was supposed to go on trial later this month on these charges and many more, including kidnapping and assault and battery with a dangerous weapon. Her five-year-old son, Jeremiah Oliver, was discovered missing in September 2013. Months later, his body was found in a suitcase along I-90 in Sterling. His death later ruled a homicide. The DA's office says Oliver's charges related to Jeremiah have been dropped. Last week, her boyfriend Alberto Sierra also pleaded guilty to abusing Oliver's two children. His charges related to Jeremiah also dropped. No one has been charged for the death of the five-year-old, but officials say the investigation will keep moving forward. Jeremiah Oliver is gone, but he will never be forgotten. We continue to work diligently on his case. Oliver declined to say anything in court, and no family members showed up. Both sides agreed that she should be sentenced to seven and a half years in jail. She's already served about three and a half years behind bars. Reporting live in Worcester, Anna Myler, WBZ News.